I'm Meryl. I'm Nadim. And today we're on Church Street asking people their opinions on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Let's ask them and see what will, what will they say. What are your thoughts on the Israeli-Palestine conflict? Um, well, I think it's really horrifying. Um, I have been really frustrated to see a lot of public officials, especially U.S. officials, um, standing with Israel but not standing with Palestine. I think there's been um, a really... I think the terrorism that Hamas is... Um, inflicting on Israeli people is um, terrible and also um, I, I think if you call what Hamas is doing terrorism then you also have to call what the Israeli government has been doing over the last 20 years terrorism as well in um, pushing the Palestinian people uh, closer and closer together on this tiny strip of land um, the strip of Gaza um, it's just really frustrating to see um, the international community standing with one group of people um, and not recognizing um, the really violent oppression that's happening to the other group of people. So that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> and where have you been getting your like media about this issue? I uh, follow a couple of Instagram accounts that um, uh, Land Palestine, Ion Palestine are a couple of um, accounts that have um, journalists in Palestine that are covering um, the the violence there. I also um, often find Democracy Now! covers this issue in a, um, a way that other news outlets tend not to. I really bring a lot of skepticism to uh, mainstream news outlets in, in terms of coverage of this issue, especially, you know, the New York Times and, and CNN, folks like that. I think that the Israelis have the absolute right to defend themselves from the atrociousness that happened there. And I hope they do. Uh, from where do you get all the information about this uh, matter? From the news. <laughs> I mean, where else do you get it? Of course, the news. Like news, like TVs or internet or uh, radio? I get most of my information. I'm on holiday right now, so I'm getting things off the internet. Using social media or what? I don't use social media. I use um, sites like Real Clear Politics, for instance, um, which is a good one. CNN, Fox News. I try and get a balanced view of everything. So, yeah. So, do you think it's balanced view, and CNN and Fox and like such out media outlets? I think that both sides are are a little bit um, prejudiced. So that's why I read both sides so I can make my own decision. Try and get actual, real information, which is not easy. But um, I think I've got enough to make my decisions of what's going on. Um, I think there are a lot of people that are saying a lot of things that don't really know everything from all of the angles of the story. Um, and that this has been a deep-rooted issue for many, many decades. Um, and a lot of people, I think, are trying to simplify it based off of the simple story that they hear. Where are you getting your news from or media from? Um, I would say mostly the New York Times, um, but definitely something that I don't really investigate a lot, that, like, that story specifically, I guess I would say. But I see a lot on social media, and I try to always think of it critically. Yeah. That's what you're talking about right now, what's going on now, or just before, or along the time? Right now, and along the time. I feel like if you're talking about right now, you might be a little bit... Uh, how can I call this? Because if you see, we are talking about the conflict all along, all over years, more than 50 years, you know, about the conflict. If you're talking, but now, if you're talking about what's going on now, I feel like uh, they have the right, they are, it's their land, they have the right, you know, to maintain their land, their houses. I feel like if you guys are just gonna ask right now what's going on, you should ask them what they are doing all over the years. This is just one. I'm not, I'm not, you know, supporting, what should they call it? Who are them? You said them, who are them? Now, I'm supporting, you know, of course, Palestinian, because it's their land, and they are just, you know, how can I call it? It's defense, I'm not gonna call it an attack or whatever. It's defense, their way, 
you know, defense their land and all over. From where you, yeah, from where you get uh, all your information about this uh, matter? All about the matter? Well, I'm not going to call it the news, but, you know, all over the years, you know. I am from Morocco, and we support, you know, Palestinian conflict over, you know, from all the years that we know since, you know, our childhood. That's why, uh, you know, I know all, pretty much not, I, I don't know all, pretty much like all what's going on, but from my opinion, I feel like they have the right, you know, to maintain their land and support it and, you know, defense it. But, but I mean, what, what kind of media outlets do you usually use to get your information from? Well, internet, I mean, I'm not going to call it, you know, Facebook and whatever, but, you know, all over, pretty much. Uh, not really, like, is it a thing with, like, the wedding? Maybe not. Uh, I'm really not sure. Same for me, honestly, I didn't follow all the news. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, the worldwide news, I don't always follow it, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and, um, where do you guys get your news from? Uh, probably social media. I don't yeah. really watch the news, like, on TV or... Same for me. Honestly, I don't really watch TV and stuff like that. So. I think it's sad. Um, I think there's a lot of innocent people caught in the middle of the conflict. Um, what else do I think? I think it's just hatred that's gone on for years and years and years between the Palestinians and the Israel Jewish people. Um, I don't know. I feel sad that, I feel like maybe Iran, Iran promoted this. Iran. 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 No, I said Iran. Okay. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, from where you get all the information about this um, case? Um, online. I don't know. Just like online, what you're using? I oh, I read a novel. I can't remember. It was called Seven Gates. Of uh, it kind of told both sides, like the killing on both sides, like the Israelites killing the Palestinians, the Palestinians killing the Jews. I just, I wish they could all get along. <laughs> I feel sorry for the families and the kids and the innocent people. I think there are. I think Hamas is a radical group. So, uh, again, you get your information from, you say, from online and yeah. uh, that, do you use like TV or, or social media platforms? Or? Uh, some, yeah, some. Like, what do you watch usually for TV? Just the news. Uh, CNN, Fox, uh, CBS. Today show. Yeah, she does. Today show. And what else on social media? Um, just what pops up in our state, like, you know, news break, Nebraska, whatever. Yeah. Well, I think the Palestinians have lived under Israeli occupation for far too long. I think the, um, the Palestinians have, um, have made a mark for themselves this time. From where do you get all your information about this uh, issue? Um, New York Times. Um, they got things on television that I watch. Uh, uh, like what? Well, for instance, the BBC um, has more about the Palestinians than any of the... Uh, the uh, American networks, um, but I've uh, I went to uh, Palestine uh, about 15 years ago, um, and so I I was there for about seven days and was able to go from Tel Aviv to uh, to Jerusalem. And um, it, uh, it really opened my eyes because I saw the way the Palestinians were treated by the, by the Israelis, just stopping them on the street, 
demanding to see papers. Um, I was witness to all that. And uh, so I have a sense of just how angry the Palestinians are.